Are you ready to unlock the secrets to a life of unyielding ambition? Are you prepared to step into a world where your dreams aren't just dreams, but a reality waiting to be grasped? Today, we're diving deep into the wisdom of one of the most influential thought leaders of our time, the legendary Jim Rohn. A man who didn't just talk about success, but lived it, breathed it, and shared it with the world. We're about to uncover the six principles of ambition that he passionately believed in. Principles that have transformed ordinary lives into extraordinary ones. Principles that could be the key to unlocking your limitless potential. So if you're ready to ignite that spark within you, if you're ready to step up, to rise, to conquer, then stay tuned. Because what we're about to share could change your life forever. Ambition principle number one is positive self-direction. Rowan once said, you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. This statement encapsulates his belief in the transformative power of positive self-direction. He understood that while we may not have control over every circumstance in our lives, we do have control over how we respond to those circumstances. By choosing to respond positively and proactively, we can change the trajectory of our lives. Positive self-direction, according to Rohn, is about more than just maintaining a positive attitude. It's about taking purposeful action towards our goals. It's about setting a course for ourselves and then doing everything within our power to follow that course. It's about not letting setbacks deter us, but instead using them as stepping stones towards our ultimate objectives. Rome believed that positive self-direction begins with self-awareness. He encouraged individuals to take a hard look at their lives, to assess their current situation honestly, and to identify the changes they needed to make. Once this self-assessment was done, the next step was to set clear, achievable goals. Rome was a strong advocate for goal setting, seeing as a crucial component of positive self-direction. He believed that having clear goals gave individuals something to strive for and kept them motivated and focused. But Rowan also understood that setting goals was not enough. He knew that achieving those goals required discipline, commitment, and hard work. He often spoke about the importance of developing good habits, of making a daily commitment to personal growth and improvement. He believed that it was these daily actions, these small steps taken consistently over time, that led to significant changes and achievements. Rohn also emphasized the importance of learning and personal development in positive self-direction. He believed that we should always be striving to improve ourselves, to learn new skills, and to expand our knowledge. He saw learning as a lifelong journey, one that could open up new opportunities and possibilities. Ambition principle number two is self-reliance. Rohn once stated, you must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind, but you can change yourself. This quote encapsulates his belief in self-reliance. He understood that life is full of variables beyond our control, but he firmly believed that we have the power to control our own actions, reactions, and attitudes. By taking responsibility for ourselves, we can navigate life's challenges and shape our own future. Self-reliance, according to Rohn, is not about isolation or a refusal to seek help when needed. Instead, it's about having the confidence and resilience to stand on your own two feet. It's about developing the skills, knowledge, and attitudes that allow you to face life's challenges head-on, rather than relying on others to solve your problems for you. Rome believed that self-reliance begins with self-awareness. He encouraged individuals to understand their strengths and weaknesses, to recognize their potential, and to acknowledge their limitations. This self-awareness, he argued, is the first step towards self-reliance. It allows us to understand what we can do, what we need to learn, and where we need to grow. But Rome also understood that self-reliance requires more than just self-awareness. It requires action. He often spoke about the importance of taking initiative, of stepping up and taking charge of your life. He believed that self-reliance is about making decisions and taking actions that move you towards your goals even when those decisions are difficult or those actions are hard. Rohn also emphasized the importance of continuous learning and self-reliance. He believed that we should always be striving to improve ourselves, to expand our skills and knowledge. He saw learning as a key component of self-reliance as it equips us with the tools we need to navigate life's challenges and to achieve our goals. Ambition principle number three is self-discipline. Rome once said, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. This statement encapsulates his belief in the transformative power of self-discipline. He understood that while we may have lofty goals and dreams, it is discipline that enables us to reach them. By choosing to act in alignment with our goals, even when it's difficult or uncomfortable, we can create the life we desire. Self-discipline, according to Rome, is about making choices that align with our long-term goals rather than our immediate desires. It's about resisting the temptation of immediate gratification in favor of long-term success. It's about taking purposeful action towards our goals, even when we don't feel like it. Rohn believed that self-discipline begins with a clear understanding of our goals. He encouraged individuals to set clear, achievable goals and to keep these goals at the forefront of their minds. This clarity, he argued, is what fuels self-discipline. 
It provides a clear direction and a strong motivation to act in alignment with our goals. But Rohn also understood that self-discipline requires more than just clear goals. It requires commitment, perseverance, and a willingness to step outside of our comfort zone. He often spoke about the importance of developing good habits of making a daily commitment to personal growth and improvement. He believed that it was these daily actions, these small steps taken consistently over time, that led to significant changes and achievements. Rohn also emphasized the importance of self-awareness and self-discipline. He believed that we should always be striving to understand ourselves better, to recognize our strengths and weaknesses, and to identify the areas where we need to exercise more discipline. He saw self-awareness as a crucial component of self-discipline, as it allows us to identify the habits and behaviors that are holding us back and to take steps to change them. Ambition principle number four is self-enterprise. Rome once said, formal education will make you a living, self-education will make you a fortune. This statement encapsulates his belief in self-enterprise. He understood that while formal education provides a foundation, it is self-education and the pursuit of personal enterprise that truly unlocks our potential. By taking initiative and seeking opportunities for growth and development, we can create a life of abundance and fulfillment. Self-enterprise, according to Rome, is about taking control of your life and making things happen for yourself. It's about identifying opportunities, taking risks, and pursuing your passions. It's about not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but actively seeking them out and making the most of them. Rome believed that self-enterprise begins with a mindset shift. He encouraged individuals to move away from a mindset of dependency and towards a mindset of self-reliance and initiative. This shift, he argued, is the first step towards self-enterprise. It allows us to see ourselves as active participants in our lives, rather than passive observers. But Rohn also understood that self-enterprise requires more than just a mindset shift. It requires action. He often spoke about the importance of taking initiative, of stepping up and taking charge of your life. He believed that self-enterprise is about making decisions and taking actions that move you towards your goals, even when those decisions are difficult or those actions are hard. Rohn also emphasized the importance of continuous learning and self-enterprise. He believed that we should always be striving to improve ourselves, to expand our skills and knowledge. He saw learning as a key component of self-enterprise as it equips us with the tools we need to identify opportunities and to make the most of them. Ambition principle number five is working well with others. Rohn once said, if you just communicate, you can get by, but if you communicate skillfully, you can work miracles. This statement encapsulates his belief in the power of effective communication and collaboration. He understood that the ability to work well with others is not just about getting along, but about creating synergy where the combined effort is greater than the sum of individual efforts. Working well with others, according to Rohn, is about understanding and appreciating the value of diverse perspectives. It's about recognizing that each person brings unique skills, knowledge, and experiences to the table, and that these differences can be harnessed to create innovative solutions and achieve common goals. It's about fostering an environment of mutual respect and cooperation, where everyone feels valued and heard. Rohn believed that the ability to work well with others begins with effective communication. He emphasized the importance of listening as much as speaking, of seeking to understand before seeking to be understood. He argued that effective communication is not just about conveying your own ideas, but about understanding the ideas of others and integrating them into a cohesive whole. But Rohn also understood that working well with others requires more than just effective communication. It requires empathy and understanding. He often spoke about the importance of putting yourself in other shoes, of understanding their perspectives and feelings. He believed that this empathy and understanding is what allows us to build strong, productive relationships. Rohn also emphasized the importance of integrity in working well with others. He believed that trust is the foundation of all successful relationships, and that this trust is built on honesty, reliability, and consistency. He saw integrity as a key component of working well with others as it fosters trust and respect. Ambition principle number six is self-appreciation. Rohn once said, the greatest gift you can give to somebody is your own personal development. This statement encapsulates his belief in self-appreciation. He understood that by appreciating ourselves, by acknowledging our strengths and celebrating our achievements, we not only boost our self-esteem, but also inspire others to do the same. Self-appreciation, according to Rohn, is about recognizing and valuing our own worth. It's about acknowledging our achievements, no matter how small, and celebrating our progress. It's about being kind to ourselves, forgiving our mistakes, and focusing on our strengths rather than our weaknesses. Rohn believed that self-appreciation begins with self-awareness. He encouraged individuals to understand their strengths and weaknesses, to recognize their potential, and to acknowledge their achievements. This self-awareness, he argued, is the first step towards self-appreciation. It allows us to see ourselves in a positive light and to value our own worth. 
But Roan also understood that self-appreciation requires more than just self-awareness. It requires a positive mindset. He often spoke about the importance of maintaining a positive attitude, of focusing on the good rather than the bad, and of celebrating our achievements rather than dwelling on our failures. He believed that this positive mindset is what allows us to appreciate ourselves and to cultivate a sense of self-worth. Roan also emphasized the importance of self-care and self-appreciation. He believed that we should always be striving to take care of ourselves, both physically and mentally. He saw self-care as a key component of self-appreciation as it shows that we value ourselves and our well-being. These principles, as Rome believed, are not just abstract concepts, but practical tools that can be harnessed to shape our lives and achieve our goals. Rome's philosophy is a testament to his belief in the power of the individual. He saw each of us as the architects of our own destiny, capable of shaping our lives through our thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. His words continue to inspire countless individuals around the world, serving as a powerful reminder of our potential and the transformative power of these principles. As we move forward, let us carry with us Rome's wisdom. Let us strive to direct ourselves positively, to rely on our own abilities to seize opportunities for self-enterprise, to work effectively with others, and to appreciate our own worth. In doing so, we honor Rome's legacy and take a step closer to realizing our own potential. Remember, as Rome himself said, success is not to be pursued. It is to be attracted by the person you become. So, let's continue to grow, to learn, and to become the best versions of ourselves. Because in the end, our success is not determined by the circumstances we face, but by how we choose to face them.